this is the all new 2023 Genesis G70. Let's begin this review with the price tag on this vehicle. This 2023 Genesis G70 comes with an MSRP price of 39,150. With the added features brings this to a total price of 45,245. With the dealer added or installed options brings this to a total of $50,240. Here are all the standard features that come along with this vehicle. You can give this uh, video a good pause and have a good read through them this current vehicle is located at the headquarters genesis sanford florida so do go ahead and check them out the link is in the description below coming towards the fuel economy it will give you 21 on the city and 31 on the highway so here was the complete sticker price and details about this vehicle let's carry on this review starting from the exterior side of this vehicle now Talking about the design itself, the Genesis has one of the most finest or unique designs out there, no doubt about it. And what's common among all of the Genesis or most of the Genesis is the signature design front grille as well as this horizontal split headlights as well as the daytime running lights. Talking about this current vehicle itself, you'll have this integrated radar sensors that's within the front grille. Then you have the front sensors that runs throughout the front side of this vehicle. Here's a complete view of the front. Then on the hood you have this fine contrail design lines that run throughout the front hood. At the top of the windscreen you have the camera that helps with the lane keep assist. Moving on towards the sides now, you will have this fine blacked out design 19 inch sports alloy wheels. Then you have the body colored side mirrors with lane change indicators and you even have the blind spot indicator as well. Then you have the body colored door handle. Here is a quick peek on the inside for which we shall review later and here is a complete view of the side of this vehicle. Coming towards the back now you have this fine horizontal split tail lights as well. Then this is a Genesis G70. At the top you have the backup camera and running around the rear bumper you have the reverse parking sensors. As I'm behind let's go ahead and check out the cargo space. So it does show a good amount of cargo space for your day-to-day -day items and luggages. At the side, we have some nice pocket space as well. And the space can be further extended by folding the second passenger row seats. Let's go ahead and have this closed. So yep, this was about the exterior side of this vehicle. Now let's go ahead and check out the interior side on this vehicle. Coming towards the interior side of this vehicle now. Start, starting from the driver's side, at the door you have all your window controls, lock, unlock, side mirror adjustments as well as folding. Then at the top you have the memory seats as well as speakers from top all the way towards the bottom. Right at the bottom you have a decent amount of space. Coming towards the seats, it comes with some fine premium leather seats. And right at the bottom you have the powered seat adjustments. Taking a step inside. So once seated, it does feel a lot more comfortable. On the steering wheel, you have a variety of controls. But before I talk about them, let me quickly show you the keys that come along with this vehicle. It comes with a smart key with several buttons on it, such as your lock, unlock, trunk opener, headlights, remote engine start and stop button, as well as the alert sound. Since it's smart, I can place it in one of the cup holders. Talking about the buttons on the steering wheel, you have your volume controls, hands-free, different mode selects, as well as buttons to navigate through your fine 8-inch info information display screen for the driver. That shows a variety of information such as your drive info, then you have your accumulated info, miles at which you're traveling, attention level, tire pressure, engine temperature, and much more. Coming towards the center, you have this fine 10.25 inch infotainment display screen, which is touch sensitive. And then you have a variety of options over here, such as your map, valet mode, navigation menu, HD radio. Let me quickly select the map, which I'll show you your current location, which shows as Sanford, Florida. Going back towards the home screen. Then you have your phone, radio, media, checking out the media, which shall include your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. Then your phone projection, voice memo, connected service, climate, setup, notification, and user manual. Setting it back to the home screen. Since I'm over here, let's go ahead and check out the backup camera. So it does show a good uh, resolution. And then you have the front and back parking sensors. Going back towards the home screen. Underneath it, you have two AC vents, then your buttons for your map, navigation, radio, media, favorite, and setup. 
Underneath it, you have a climate controls, which shall also have your seat warmers and ventilated uh, driver and passenger seats. Then right at the bottom, you have your USB input as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Some nice storage space over here. Then your gear shifters, different drive mode select. Let's go ahead and check them out. You have your Eco, Comfort, Sports, Sports Plus, as well as Custom. Coming back, you have your button to activate and deactivate your parking sensors. At the side, you have two cup holders. Then you have a spacious, you have a nice space underneath the armrest as well as a USB input. Having a quick peek at the passenger side, a spacious glove compartment. At the top, you have the sunshade with a mirror and light. Then you have your sunroof and some additional lighting as well and some space for your sunglasses. So yep, that's pretty much it from the front side. Now let's go ahead and check out the second passenger row seats. Coming towards the second passenger row seats, at the door you have your window control, at the bottom you have a decent amount of space and speakers. Taking a step inside, once seated it does feel a lot more comfortable. Then behind the front seats you have some nice pocket space, a good amount of legroom space. At the center you have the AC vents, at the bottom you have your power or USB input. The passenger seats can be adjusted as simple as that from the back. Then at the top you have the light button and checking out the armrest now which shall have two cup holders. So yep, this was about the second passenger row side. Now let's go ahead and check out what's underneath the hood. This 2023 Genesis G70 comes with a 2 liter turbocharged engine and has a horsepower of 252. Let's go ahead and have this closed. So yep, that was my review on the all new 2023 Genesis G70. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.